Today I want to share some casual outdoor portraits with you. In this video, I'll share the purpose of the photos and why I made the choices that I did, and of course some of the photos themselves. And then I'll share how VIPs can see more from the shoot, including a behind the scenes video where I chat with you on site from the shoot and then from my desk while I'm working in Lightroom. At Snapcheck, I do all kinds of different portrait techniques. I love coming up with new ideas and experimenting with them. But outside of Snapcheck, as a photographer, I enjoy a more casual portrait style when I'm working with clients. I certainly do studio shoots and the level of formal or casual depends upon the situation. I feel great satisfaction when I create a super low key shadowy portrait or when I have a new set of lights to experiment with in the studio. But if you know me, you know that I am happiest when I am outside. So when I can combine my love of photography and my love of the outdoors, that's where I find my true joy. So this month being plain air June, it is only fitting for me to share a new set of casual outdoor portraits. They were casual in the way that I, as the subject, was dressed and posed, but also in the way that they were taken. While we ended up capturing many wider portrait shots, this shoot was really intended to capture some updated headshots for my site. I'm always needing new headshots because I change my look fairly often. And I do have some current, more formal studio shots, but I wanted some more relaxed photos, some that were just more me. Outside was definitely my first thought. I'll talk more about the location in a few minutes. So first let's talk about how I was casual as a subject and why that helped the photo. For headshots, I want the subject's true self to shine through. It sounds a bit cheesy, but it's true. It's not just a portrait. I want it to tell the viewer something about the person. For me, that means that I wanted to dress how I normally dress in a t-shirt and with minimal makeup. And I didn't really want to get fancy with poses either. I just wanted to allow myself to be relaxed and smiley, like I am most of the time in real life. This is what I do for my clients too. I want them to be comfortable. I want them to be themselves. So the portraits will naturally be better. For a headshot especially, the more relaxed and comfortable your subject feels, the better the photo. Even if I'm doing a headshot for a business person who's wearing a suit, I tell them to wear whatever they do normally wear to work. If it's a suit, it's a suit, but no need to do something special because if they're comfortable and feeling like themselves in my studio, that's what's going to show through. Okay, moving on to how the photography technique was casual too. I mentioned before that having someone feel comfortable will allow them to relax and to get you a better photo, right? Well, if you as a photographer are messing around with lighting or with reflectors, or if you're constantly shuffling around the studio, tugging at the backdrop or something, your subject is going to mirror your behavior. I mean, if you're tense, struggling to get your setup just right, they're going to get tense. That's no good. If I'm in the studio, I try to get the setup and lighting right before my subject even gets there. I use myself or a friend, maybe even just my mannequin to test everything out ahead of time. In the case of this shoot, I made sure to do the shots at sunset when the lighting was the best, and I simply angled myself as a subject to the light. Raymond was helping me take the photos, and he didn't have to mess with a lot of things. We took a few test shots to get the settings right, and both of us were able to relax and chat during the shoot, resulting in relaxed photos. So all of that, casual wardrobe, great outdoor setting, minimal technical stuff to deal with, it all led to a low pressure environment, which in my experience always leads to the good stuff. Now there is one more thing that I wanted to talk about. I live in the desert and I spend a lot of time in the forest. So I have no shortage of great locations, but because these were headshots, I didn't want a lot going on around me in the photo. So I found a place where there was a lot of separation between me and the background for this particular location. In one area, there were distant mountains and trees. And in the other area, there was just a backdrop of forest. In both situations, I was able to have enough separation between me and the background to have it be abstract behind me. 
so that it wasn't a distraction in the photos. So over at snapchick.com, you can see a sample photo along with the specifications like gear choice and settings, plus VIPs. That's where you can log in to see your exclusive video. Follow the link in the description below to head right to the post.